I don't know what age I was, but I must have been seven or eight and went for a walk with my dad one day and found an old church and went inside and there was a, a dead body in a coffin, like a lady, and there's no one else in the church. It was really bizarre, but dad took me up to show her to me and let me touch her face, feel that she was cold and that the life was gone. I think it was a really healthy thing to kind of have that connection with death and that association with the life being gone. In New Zealand I wanted to learn taxidermy there and couldn't find anyone to teach me but um, decided I wanted to become a shoe designer and there's nowhere in New Zealand you can study footwear making so I moved to Melbourne at the same time met a taxidermist who offered to teach me. We have very similar kind of beliefs and he, I, I did a fox head with him once and he was like, oh, let's make it, let's make the fox look happy and kind of like a dog because he used to do a lot of foxes and they'd always want them to be snarling and look evil because the person had hunted it and caught it and they wanted to feel good about what they'd done so they wanted to make it look vicious and he really hated that side of things and he stopped doing that after a while. It's meant to be this big kind of masculine thing to kill another animal and such a powerful animal but it's like, yeah, if you kill it with your bare hands, that's you know, probably a bit more impressive, not that I would be impressed. Because I'm a vegetarian so I don't kill anything and it's pretty much what you find lying around and I, I find a little bit but not enough to make everything I make so it's good to have people donating. There's a freezer just behind you, a full size freezer and that's where everything, I've just for my exhibition I've pretty much emptied it out and done most of the pieces I had. When I first started doing it I had, um, I'd have like birds and ice cream containers in the normal freezer and you know my housemate would go, and to, go to the freezer thinking there's ice cream and open it up and get a dead bird which didn't go down too well. I have a sense of humour about it, I'm not, you know, I'm not out there to make things that look like they look in nature and put it in a diorama, I'm interested in creating something that's maybe a bit more striking and you know enhancing things and it's just like the rabbit with its skeleton and you know its hind legs or forelegs and rib cage and then the ruby heart but I think it has to be done well like I you know I think it can be tacky if it's done if it's the taxidermy is poor and yeah so it's it's a fine line I think this mouse on the shield that's a shield I carved in jet and he's got diamond eyes and that's again the whole preciousness kind of thing it's like a diamond which is seen as one of the most valuable materials and then to put it in a mouse it kind of is a play on what is valuable and to me I'd rather have a, a mouse than a diamond like that's harder for me to find I can go to my supplier and buy a diamond in any size I want but to get a mouse I have to wait till one comes along most people have a kind of preconceived idea of me and my work and I think they definitely think that I'm kind of going to be a bit of a goth. I am in a little bit of a way, you know, like I'm interested in gothic, the gothic era, but in gothic architecture and that kind of thing. And when I was younger I had black lipstick and black hair and I've kind of experimented with all of that. People are naturally really curious about death, even though it's probably a bit more of a taboo in society today. I think you're always fascinated with you know what's going to happen after you die and kind of reflections of mortality and I think it does reach out to a lot of people and I think because of my stance on animal rights and that kind of thing it makes it easier for people to digest. I think if I was out there killing cats and dogs and mice and things and putting them in my work people wouldn't feel such a strong connection to it. Thank you.